everyone and welcome to today's craft video and how I finished and decorated my church that I made using lollipop sticks or popsicle sticks. I will add this to the playlist for my winter village that I'm making so you can see the videos before that if you haven't seen them and yeah we'll get into what I did to it. So obviously I have the church already built so now I'm going to start to decorate it by painting it first so I'm going to be using a dark brown and this is just acrylic paint I got this in a set from B&M's and I'm going to be using this to paint the basically all the trim and the roof around the church I'm using two different size paintbrushes a smaller one to get in the corners and then a larger one to do the roof so I'm going to do all the trim around the roof at the top of the tower and then I'm going to do leave the middle bit to do a lighter brown and then I'm also going to do the trim all around the outside so anywhere where we've done a horizontal stick I'm going to paint and anywhere where we've basically finished off and the roofs so yeah I'm going to do all that in dark brown and the window frames as well I'm going to do two coats just to make sure that it's dark enough and then I'm going to also do the horizontal sticks around the outside and the roof at the front so I'm going to do that and I'll be back once I've done two coats and it's dry So I've done that and I'm happy with how it's looking and now that I've painted the roofs I've decided on what colour I want the rest of it to be and I want it to be a light brown pretty much near enough the colour of the sticks that are already not painted but I want to make sure that it looks finished so I've just mixed some dark brown with a lot of white just to make a really pale brown or cream colour and now I'm just going to paint everything else that we have missed out. So all the other bits that's left, I'm just going to use this and I'm going to do two coats in that colour and again, leave it to dry and then I'll get on to the next section. So while that's drying, I'm going to just add a little door at the front because we're going to be putting a candle around in behind it. So we want to make sure that it's covered and I've just measured and it's just over an inch wide and just over three inches high. So I'm just going to measure that out on a piece of card and then cut it out with a pair of scissors. And then once I've cut it out, I'm just going to paint two coats of the dark brown to match the windowsills and also to match the roofs. And like I said, we're going to be putting a battery power tea light behind it. So I um, didn't want to be able to see the candle. So that's the reason for me adding the door. I might change the door at some point. I'm not 100% sure, but for now, I just wanted it to match everything else that we've just painted. So I'll just paint that, let that dry and then we can get on to finishing decorating the church and I'm just going to use a little bit of greenery I think to put on the front of it just to add a little bit of colour. And I'm just going to be using some of the Pound Reef from Poundland. It came in the craft section, in the Christmas craft section. And I'm just going to add a bit to the front of the, above the front window, above the door, and also across the front in the centre. And I'm just going to attach this with a bit of hot glue. So I'm just holding it into place where I want it. And I'm just going to trim it with a pair of scissors. And then I'm just going to use the smallest amount of hot glue and just put a little bit at each side of the tower. And then I'm just going to pop it in place. And 
and you could add as much as this as you wanted but I just decided to just add two little bits and once I do the display the garden for it which I'm going to do next year probably in July um, then I'll know what I want to add to the rest of the church but for now I just wanted to keep it nice and simple And now I'm just going to add a small section there. So again, I'm just taking some of the reef. Trimming it with a pair of scissors. And then I'm just going to glue that one in place as well. So I'm really happy with how it's looking. I'm super excited to put the snow on and that's what we're going to do next. So with the snow, I'm going to add it to the top of the tower just to hide the joints. I might put a little bit in the center there and I'm definitely going to put it on every single roof that we've made. So all I'm going to use is some of the fake snow and this is $1.99 from B&M's. It's really fine and I really like this stuff. I've actually bought another two bags of it just in case I can't get hold of any more of it. And I'm using PVA glue. So I'm just going to open the PVA glue and I'm going to use the bottle to add the glue to the church. And then I'm just going to start at the front and I'm just putting it everywhere where snow would land naturally on a building. So just some at the top of the front and then I'm just going to pop some glue on the roof. I'm not going to completely cover the roof because I still want to be able to see the wood underneath it. like so and then I'm just going to add the snow I would suggest probably putting something down um, to cover your surface because the glue will obviously start to fall down and drop off the ends of the roof um, so if you want to cover the surface that you're using I mean it wipes off pretty quick pretty easy anyway because it's only PVA glue but so I'm going to do that now with the rest of the roofs and add snow wherever I want it and then I'll be back once I've done that so I've done all that. I'm really super happy with how it's looking. And the last thing to do now is just add the door to the front. So I'm just going to use a bit of hot glue and pop it around the edge of the inside of the door and then stick it to the front of the church. And I will show you what it looks like complete. So here it is. And I'm over the moon with it i absolutely love it i'm so glad that i decided to do it lighter than what i planned on doing originally i was going to do it quite dark but yeah i'm really really happy with it um it's been a joy to work on i've loved every minute working on it and i can't wait to do the display for it next year so I need to do a garden and obviously I've already got the other two sections of my village that I've made and then I can carry on with the other sections that I want to do. There's still a quite a few sections that I want to do. I at least know that there's another six sections that I want to add to this. So I've got three up to now. I want to do another six. Um, but I'm really, really chuffed with how it looks and I haven't even put any lights in it yet. Um, so I'm not too sure what it's going to look like. But all I'm going to use is some of the Poundland battery tea lights and I've got three. So I'm going to put one in the back. Obviously, when we made it, I left a space so that we could add one at the back. And then I'm going to have two at the front. So I'm going to have one at the back. And then I'm going to have one behind the door. I've left space underneath it to pop one underneath and then one in the window there as well. So it will light up all the windows and I'll show you what it looks like in the dark. So here it is lit up. Obviously, you can't see much, but once I've got everything else on in my village, you'll be able to see the church more. But I just love how it looks lit up and 
yeah i've really enjoyed it guys this is going to be my last video this year i'm going to have a week off next week i need to start planning what i want to do for 2020 so i'm not going to upload next week i am going to be making stuff but i'm just not going to upload so i hope you all have a fantastic christmas i hope you have a wonderful new year take care for now everybody and i will see you in 2020 bye for now